Welcome everyone from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a Commentary on Ecclesiastes by St. Gregory of Agrigentum. Bishop, approach the Lord and receive his light. In the words of Ecclesiastes, light itself is delightful and it is a great boon for the eye to have sight of the sun. Devoid of light, the world would be without beauty and life would be lifeless. That was why Moses, who saw God, said in anticipation, and God saw the light and said that it was good. To reflect on the true and eternal light is even more fitting for us. This light is Christ who enlightens every man who comes into the world, the Savior and Redeemer of the world. He is the one who became man and sank to the very depths of the human condition. As David said, Sing to God a hymn to his name. Make a highway for him who rises to the west. His name is the Lord. Rejoice before him. Now, it is our supreme delight to behold him and contemplate his divine splendor with the eyes of our spirit. When we partake in and associate with that beauty, we are enlightened and adorned, and this is our delight. We take delight in being saturated with the sweetness of the Spirit. In being clothed in holiness, in achieving wisdom. Finally, we are filled with a joy that comes from God and endures through all the days of our earthly life. In the wise words of Ecclesiastes, A 
man may live for many years, but he will experience happiness throughout his days. For all who gaze upon the Son of Justice, he is their supreme delight. David spoke of them. Let them be joyful before God and be jubilant with joy. Indeed, he even said, Rejoice in the Lord, you who are just, for praise befits those who are from the desert. With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti, Amen.